Hi guys, I just wanted to make a super quick video on how to wear false eyelashes for every day. I get a lot of questions about this because I do wear false eyelashes every day. So yeah, the technique is really, really easy. So I'm going to quickly show you guys how to do it. And if you want to see, keep on watching. Okay, so let's first talk about lashes. So I always prefer to wear more natural lashes for my everyday lash. Um, I also prefer to wear these specific lashes with all of my dramatic looks too. I just think these lashes are really versatile and without any eye makeup on they look really natural. But with a lot of eye makeup on they look glam but they don't overpower the look. So these are the Ardell Wispies. A good thing to have for an everyday lash is a flexible band on the top. The band up top is clear as opposed to black and thick. That's going to make this lash be able to bend a lot easier and really, really mold the shape of your eye, which is what you want if you're wearing this every day. Now, there are a lot of lashes that have a super thick band and they kind of are super uncomfortable, not going to lie. Like the inner corner pops off and the outer corner just... I don't know, because if it's such a stiff band, it's so hard to mold something that's straight onto like a curve. I don't know, I just think it's way more difficult and these are just really, really comfortable lashes. So I also like when my lashes are used. So I will reuse one pair of lashes for like two weeks um, and it's because I don't put much mascara on them and also you just pick the glue off when you're done and the band is still perfectly good underneath. Um, I really only throw the lash away when it starts to fade in color and that happens from like just wear and tear, you know, it just sometimes fades out. So if you get like a $3 pair of lashes, it could last you for two weeks and that's how long the lash refill is for lash extensions and that's like $45. So finally before I begin to show you how I apply it, um, the lash adhesive that I use is the Duo Dark Tone. I used to use clear for the longest time, but then I realized, you know what, I really need to step up my game. So I upgraded to the dark tone and it really looks way better. All right, so let's get on to how I apply the lashes. So the first thing that I do is I like to curl my real eyelashes and apply mascara. This is just so that they blend nicely together. And if you put mascara on first, you don't have to put as much mascara on afterwards to help blend them. Also, I like to not curl these lashes because I feel like that really takes away their life time span. <laughs> um, if you just kind of, if you position these lashes right on your eye, it looks like they have a curl. So you don't ever need to touch them with a curler. Um, but you need to curl your natural lashes unless you're blessed and have curly eyelashes because mine stick straight out. So if I don't curl them, it literally is like, my lashes, the fake lashes. So I need to curl them. And then any mascara works. I just use Tarte Light Scare My Lashes. I know that L'Oreal Voluminous is a great mascara and it's a drugstore. Um, it's also super black. You want a very black mascara so that it matches with your lashes. Don't get a brown, don't use like a black. Get a very black. See how wimpy my natural lashes are? Like, that's why I wear lashes, because that's all I get. Then when it comes to coating the lash, I think a lot of people get this wrong. I think they put on too much, and they don't wait long enough. So, you don't need a lot of glue. I always squeeze it on the back of my hand first, so that I don't take out too much. And then I just coat it. Just a little light coating. all you need. You need enough that it's going to stick on your eye, but you don't need too much or else it's going to be messy. You guys can see I just have a light layer of glue on, but I have enough on the inner corner and on the outer corner. Another thing is to make sure that you're putting your lash on the right eye. I know that sounds stupid, but sometimes the lashes are hard to tell. Ardell Wispies straight out of the box aren't hard to tell, but kind of once you start to use them, it is harder to tell. This is the front of the eye, this is the back of the eye, so this is going to go on my left eye. Normally, when you get lashes, they come in a box like this and they look like this. 
So you just hold them up to your eye facing this way, not this way, this way, and then you can match up right, right, left, left. So I normally wait like a minute and a half, two minutes for my glue to dry, um, and that's so that it gets tacky. So normally I'll put my glue on, I'll curl my lashes, put mascara on, and then I'll go on and do my face until this is ready. You can bend it or you can just go ahead and do your makeup. I would recommend to just keep doing your makeup. I always apply my lashes with tweezers. I can get them with um, fingers on my right eye, but not on my left eye because I like block my eye and I can't see and I can't do it with my left hand because I'm not that good. Um, so I always prefer tweezers. Make sure that your tweezers don't have any glue on them. Make sure that they're not sticky. Make sure that they're clean because the most annoying thing in the whole world is when you set your tweezers down, you get your lash right where you want it. You can go to pull away, but your lashes are stuck on your tweezers and your tweezers pull the lashes off of your line. It's really freaking annoying. So the lash is about ready. So what I like to do is I like to hold the lash and I like to stick it on kind of going upwards right where my lash meets my eyes. I like to use my lashes as a guide. I kind of put them on my lashes and just slide them back until I can't slide anymore because then it hit my lash line. I then go to the outer corner and position that and then I work my way to the inner corner and I position that and then I just go back and I make sure that all the lashes on the lash line and not just the inner corner and the outer corner because I've done that before. It looks good, it looks long, but then you look down and you blink and you're like, oh my god, her lash literally isn't on her eye. Like it's in the middle of her eyelashes and it looks horrible. So I have lashes in hand. Let's do it. So right in the middle, bring the outer lash. Connect it to the outer corner. Grab the inner corner. The inner corner is the most annoying part of the lash. Stick it down. And then go back through. And make sure the whole lash is attached. Okay, so once you are sure that the lash is on and secure, this is the stage where the lash is super tacky and you can mold it how you want. So right now I applied it up, but then I kind of pushed it back down just to ensure that the band was on. So what I'm gonna do is take my tweezers and just lightly push it up. You can kind of mold the band up. And that's how I put on a lash. It looks crazy right now because we aren't done blending it, but it's the gist of it. So what I'm gonna do is go in with gel eyeliner. So I just like to go in and fill in that gap with eyeliner. It's just where my um, natural lashes are a little bit lighter and where the dark band is darker. So mascara doesn't really get to the roots, so using eyeliner fills in that gap. And then I always think I look super weird just with upper lashes, so I always like to add Alright, so the other lash is about ready, and I'm just going to do the exact same thing. See what a difference lashes make?
inner corners are the hardest and the most annoying i think they're like so annoying especially at the end of the day like when your glue starts to wear off or when it's just acting up if your eyes water it gets gummy and wet feeling Ugh, it's such a gross feeling but my tip is that once you have the inner corner on put it on and stop touching it like give it a good firm press so that it's going to stay in place but the more you mess with the inner corner the more it's going to move the outer corner the middle everything will last but the inner corner is just the most annoying part just like eyebrows lashes are sisters and not twins so yeah that is how you do it so i hope you guys all liked this video if it helped you out at all or if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe and um yeah i guess that's really all i have to say follow me on instagram <laughs> okay bye guys